Okay, so I've got the exposure length quite long, so Mars appears quite bright. And what I'm going to do is place a focus mask in front of the telescope. And this should give us six spikes that we can use to focus the, the image. There we go. So you can see what we want to do now is get six spikes equally spaced apart. So I'm just going to make that even brighter by making the exposure a bit longer. And we'll tweak the focus now. Probably a bit long actually. Let's try that. I'm using the StarQuest 102R, which is a short tube achromatic refractor. I think that's pretty good actually. That's not bad focus. So it's not really the best telescope for taking images of planets, but you know, I think it deserves a turn. Out of curiosity, I want to see kind of how well it does really. And definitely see the importance of a dual speed focuser because it is quite difficult with a, a very stiff single speed focuser to crack the focus. I think we'll be okay there, so let's take the focus mask off and bring that exposure down. Let's bring that down. There we go. I'll tell you what, I'll do some images in RAW 8 and then I'll do some images in RGB 24 and just see how, see how they go. And see if we can make the capture area a bit smaller. Go down to 640 by. Oh no, we're off now. Can I get that on there? Maybe I can get that in the middle. So all I'm doing really is adjusting the exposure until I'm happy that I can see some details. It's not overblown, it's not like a light bulb, too bright, it's not too dim. And then just doing quick captures. So I'm going to drop down that menu and go to 3000 frames. And what, it, what this is all doing is saving, I've done a tag name of Mars in there, so it will save them all with a file name of Mars at the beginning, so I'll be able to find them easy. You can see down here it's counting up to 3000, and with this stack I've actually only dropped one frame, and we've got 100 and roughly about 120 frames a second, so very fast camera, the ASI 385 MC, happy days. Output format AVI, binning 1-1, one, one. I want that because I want the detail, if I bin 2 times 2 <coughs> it kind of makes each pixel into a super pixel using 4 individual pixels, so that's better for like deep sky objects where you want, this, want to increase the sensitivity by making a super pixel out of 4 single pixels, but for planetary you want the detail, so keep the binning 1 by 1. Okay, it's starting to lose Mars behind a tree now. That's why it's kind of just faded away. Hopefully, that's showing how simple it is, really. I'll go and have a beer and see if I can make some kind of video out of this to give some kind of useful information. You never know. Catch you later.